So hello everybody and welcome to another Power Query video. My name is Ruth Pastor from Curva.com and today I'm going to show you some uh, a new Power Query um, function that was introduced on January 2019 desktop update for February and clear. Uh, and I haven't seen a lot of information about it, so I have to do a video about it because it's so, so useful. And you'll see it sooner or later that it's there. So, what is it about? First of all, I found this trip, trick from Chris Webb. I saw it on his Twitter and I said, ooh, that is so cool. It's not very often that I need to do the uppercase load. Let me show you. <laughs> <laughs> before I jump ahead. Okay, we are in Power Query. I have three samples. I have a table, simple table, that has my name, the company address, and then the, the street, and then the entire company address. And we want to split that. This is a very common transformation. And if you wanted to, if we take the first step, if, we, if you wanted to uh, split the text from, you know, by the uppercase, not an easy thing to do in Power Query before, not anymore, let me show you. So here we have the name column, you go to split column and you'll find these four new options, have you seen them? Super cool. Okay, so if we take lowercase to uppercase, it splits the name and it splits all the instances it finds which I think is great. One thing that I would love with this small function is to have the same as, you know, in here, like by the limiter where you can say left most, right most, all, star at, mm. but hey, the world was not made in a day anyhow. So this is super cool. Now you might wonder what does the uppercase to lowercase do? Well, it does exactly the opposite. Let me show you. It is easier to explain that way. So it takes the first uppercase it finds and if it's followed by a lowercase it splits there. So as you can see it finds the R and then it splits and then it finds the P it splits. I haven't found a good scenario for this. I'm sure there are plenty. I just couldn't come up for the love of me as of one for this video. So please share with me a scenario so others can practice, I have no idea. But at least you know what it does, right? It's, it's clear. So the next two transformations, really nice. We have a street here, this is Kerbal Street. So we go to split column and then we say from the digit to the not digit split or from the non digit when you find the digit. Okay, so you go and scan the text and then you find the digit. And if you have a non digit before, cut. So if we take that one, it will split the number from the name. Cool, huh? And the other one, it will go from digit to not digit. So it will scan the text and then when it finds the first digit, it will scan everything else. Okay. So here we can start from non-digit to digit, and then we can take that and do digit to non-digit. And then suddenly we have the street in one, the street number in the other one, and then we have the city on the next one. How cool is that? Thank you, Power BI team or Power Query team. You are, that is amazing. Same comment here. I would love to have the possibility to say, split all, split the first one, split, and you can probably tinker with the M code and do that. This is how the M code looks. I haven't actually spent a lot of time with it, it's sure it's possible. But hey, for those that cannot tinker with M code to have the same as we have up here, you know, on the user interface, it will be big, big thumbs up. Okay, stop talking. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you again on Wednesday. So until then, take care. Bye.